All right, it is time for some semi-final action. This ought to be good. We've got S.O. Kimura versus Darky 2 in the semi-final for the right-hand side bracket. And Kimura has Necrons, Darky has Chaos. So that is the start to our best of five match. So first time we're moving through to best of five. This is going to be epic. And uh, Chaos versus Necrons probably favors Chaos uh, a fair bit. Uh, we've been seeing a lot of Necron losses in this tournament. However, this is the first time that uh, Kimura has picked up Necrons, and maybe he can turn things around for us uh, with a bit of uh, Necron skill and usage. We'll see. <laughs> anyway, uh, some cultists heading out here from Daki. Gonna capture some strategic points. Not sure where they're gonna go first. Looks like uh, this middle uh, strategic point uh, in, in the crossroads area. Looks like uh, looks like Kimura just securing an obelisk outside his base there. As for the chaos, we have a group of raptors heading straight out. One thing about this map is that you can actually fly your way directly between the two bases, but uh, Daki doesn't want to do that. He's heading the long way around just because he probably suspects uh, some units are trying to cap points over here. Doesn't find any though. Here he comes around the corner though, and uh, looks like Kamora has gone for a squad of Necron Warriors first before the Necron Lords, so fair enough. And uh, straight into combat with the with the Raptors, pulling back now. And uh, a second squad of Chaos Space Marines from Daki following them up. So yeah, we've got a bit of a pitch battle, a, uh, a close combat between the, the Warriors and the Raptors. Not sure who's better off there, but I, I feel it's the Raptors, uh, in, in, at least in, in those numbers. Once there's more Necron Warriors, uh, it'll go in favor of the, uh, the Necrons, but uh, with, with just a few of them each side, Raptors definitely have an advantage there. Uh, some Scarabs being chased away from that point over at the 9 o'clock. Sorry, yeah, yeah, the 9 o'clock. Uh, and uh, they're going to have to try their luck elsewhere until the Warriors show up. In fact, we've got a second squad of Necro Warriors already. Uh, here to usher the Raptors away. And uh, looks like Kimura will be able to use those Scarabs there to take the point at the strategic, uh, the strategic point at the crossroads in the middle. And uh, looks like Darky securing the points uh, over the, the far right, far top right with the, the, the top right, the relic. We've got the uh, the point at the center. He's even used uh, some Chaos Warriors back at his home base. Oh, sorry, no, Chaos, Chaos Warriors were uh, taking the point out in the middle. But uh, back at the Necron base, the, uh, the 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 Raptors getting stuck into the the, the, the Scarabs once again. And uh, this is a lot of disruption here. Good Raptor use. Uh, looks, oh, finally we've got a Necron Lord here to actually defend the Scarabs. So those Raptors are pulling back. And it looks like the uh, those Scarabs are going to be able to capture that board after all. We've got a, uh, a Chaos Lord on the other side uh, from Darkie. And as you can see, ominously in the background, the Necron Lord is arriving to get some shots off. And, uh, I mean, at least the Chaos Lord and his little retinue there will be able to, uh, will be in a position to defend here. And indeed, some shots being... Oh, we've got a second squad of Chaos, Chaos Space Marines as, as well. So that's a that's a double team effort here. I think the Chaos are well prepared to deal with this little Necron harass, especially with that Chaos Lord being a uh, fairly tough uh, hero doing a lot of damage there. And uh, Raptor still circling the Necron base like sharks, looking for uh, targets. If I didn't point out before, obviously this map is out of reaches, and... Uh, that's going to be our first map for both semi-final games. And here come the Raptors back again, and in the, in the meantime, Kimura trying to put up a, a summoning core. Uh, so those those Scarabs working on that summoning core will be in danger. In the meantime, though, looks like we've got a, a, a larger fight happening here. The uh, Chaos Space Marines pulling back just to get out of range uh, of those Deco Warriors, or at least back into a, a safe position, taking up uh, a defensive uh, area here in the, in the cover. In the meantime, the Chaos Lord is, is content to just blast away with his bolt pistol instead of doing any close combat shooting. And the Necrons are retreating, teleporting back, and of course uh, the Necron Lord getting out of combat as well. But uh, this is nice, because Kamora is able to use his uh, his recall there with the Necron Warriors to deal with the Raptors. Maybe that's why he did it in the first place. In the meantime, the, the Necron Lord, as you saw there, had actually headed back over to the Chaos Base to harass some buildings. But once again, the, the March of Doom is, is headed out, is, uh, is marching forth from the Necron Base. And it looks like the, the Chaos Temple is going to be the target here for the Necron Lord. Already down to about two-thirds health, so that's, that's a lot of building damage that this guy does. 
In the center, of course, the uh, the Chaos Warriors getting stuck into this obelisk, and uh, that's going to be a pain. Uh, but uh, Kimura realizes that he can bring his Necro Lord back here and actually get stuck into the Necro uh, Chaos Space Marines. Oh, nice move there as well, and the Necros in the background moving forward. So, so far I feel like Kimura's actually keeping up with Daki in terms of uh, his plays here. And we may see a, a closer game on our hands. Previously we've seen a lot of uh, Necron defeats on any map and against any race. But uh, by the way, I should point out this is the first time in the tournament we've had this particular matchup as well. So it's always great to see refreshing matchups. There's so many matchups in Dawn of War. It's, uh, it's, it's just great. I mean, that's part of the reason I'm doing a random tournament so that we can see so many of these cool matchups. Anyway, Chaos Lord wants a piece of it, but uh, then decides that he doesn't. Heading back, and again, the Raptors, this is going to be, be a pain for Kimura all game. He's, he's actually cancelled that Forbidden Archive. It was going to go down there, but he realizes he's got no scarabs around to actually make it. Uh, Necron Warrior is totally out of position here. Uh, they, they're they flanked by a group of Chaos Space Marines, and oh, nice! Obelisk upgraded, getting a, a, a pop off on those Chaos Space Marines. Uh, scarabs forced to evacuate the Necron base. No Scarabs working at home at all, I think, and uh, looks like Kamora will have to waste time building some more. All the Scarabs are out here in the center. Maybe he'll return home soon. And this is the this is the relic in Kamora's territory. So the the entire Outer Reaches section, the entire northern section of the map, has been taken by Chaos. And we've even got a strategic victory countdown right now, which is unfortunate because uh, that that means the Chaos forces have a lot of requisition to play with. And uh, there's an added annoyance of, of the Necrons having to to, dish it, to to deal with those points later on, to uh, deal with that uh, that timer. And I think I think Darky's actually gone for three squads of Chaos Space Marines now, if I'm not mistaken. He's got quite a lot of them. Raptor's taking the uh, critical at the, the six o'clock. In the meantime, the Necron Warrior is heading up to the top right. We've even got a we've, sorry, we've got a a forbidden, a forbidden archive going back down here, back at home. And uh, those Necrons should be able to get a bit of territory back up top right. Unfortunately, Necron Warriors can't uh, capture points. But if they could, then uh, that would solve the the, uh, the the victory timer fairly quickly, I feel. And uh, what have we got over here? Oh, Necrons being recalled back home. Oh, not back home. They've been recalled to the center of the map. Wise choice of Ekamora allows them to get back into the action. Uh, fairly soon, but at least it's prevented the, the Chaos Lord from taking out the point in the center as well. Here's all of... Uh, all of Darkie's uh, stuff up the top, and uh, looks like we've got we've got heavy bolters and plasma pistols for the aspiring champion. So that armory tech is really kicking in, tier 1.5 stuff going on. Um, I think both players are generally hanging out in in, in tier one. I'm gonna have a look at this monolith going to tier two for for Kamora though. That'll come in handy.